Close your eyes and watch your breath. While you're sitting here right now, you have this voice telling you what to do. When you're off on your own, you have to depend on your own inner voices. So you've got to train them. That's an important part of the meditation. I was teaching down in Brazil. One of the questions was, why is it that it's so much easier to meditate when you're sitting with a guided meditation? And I guess they're hoping for the answer there's some special power in being around a teacher. But the real difference is that the vo guiding voice is telling you what to do, doing some of your work for you. So you've got to do some of the work to remind yourself to stay with the breath and learn how to talk to yourself when you're wandering off. What way of talking with, to yourself is encouraging. Encouraging when you need to be encouraged strict, when you need to be dealt with strictly. In other words, learning how to read your own mind and then figure out what's right for it. That takes practice. Otherwise you can come down so heavily on yourself that you get discouraged. Or you can be so gentle with yourself that your greed, aversion, and delusion take over. So learn how to read the mind, see what it needs, and develop good voices inside. This is one of the reasons why we listen to Dharma talks to get some encouragement. They say when the Buddha would teach people, he wouldn't simply instruct them, he would also urge and encourage and rouse them. Rouse them, in other words, give them a little bit of sharpness taught when they needed to be sharp, encourage when they needed more gentle treatment, and urge them on that this, to remind themselves that this is a really worthwhile activity they're engaged in, and not to get discouraged by the setbacks or the lack of progress. Just keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. Try to think of some skill you developed where it didn't come naturally to you, but you learned how to get good at it by observing and holding yourself to a high standard, but at the same time learning how to encourage yourself so that when the judgments came in, they weren't felt as a final judgment on you as a potential master of that skill, but more judging a work in progress so that you can figure out well, what needs to be changed. Learn how to take criticism well. Learn how to give it well. And that'll play a large role in your development as a meditator. <laughs>